guys, welcome to the tiny house. We are completely done. I decided to refilm this so that you can see the finished, finished everything. So behind me, of course, we have the mountains and I decided to put up the next four. We have like some games over here. Um, we have this one where you can like throw it. It's wet because we just had a rainstorm and it has points on the board. What's it called? Cornhole? Mm -hmm. It's like cornhole, but it has three. It has like numbers on it. So I thought that it would be more fun to do it this way. So if you use either a hacky sack or like this flap thing, I thought that was way more fun than cornhole. The fire ring with the black on black chairs. So this is facing the fire and sets like a really good ambiance and stuff. Then we have our picnic table and with our umbrella. I want a black umbrella, but this will do. I think it brings in the green. What do you guys think? Should I have black or green? Because I will change it <laughs> if it is going to be way, way, way cuter. Then, of course, you have the main event. You have the deck. We have the hot tub. And then my favorite part, my favorite part are the swings. This totally brings in like a boho feel. I am in love. I'm really sad that there's no roof above it. So when it rains, you're going to get hit. But instead of just having regular patio chairs, I thought this would like bring a really nice boho feel to it. And they swivel too. So you could talk to your friend or you have room to swing. Pick your feet up and swing. My favorite part, of course, are the lights. I wish you guys could see them at nighttime. I'll probably put a nighttime little view in for you guys. But they are icicle lights. Definitely bring in the ambiance of it all. I think it's everybody's favorite part of the tiny home. You, of course, you have to have your grill. Over here is where we keep the cedar or the pine shellings because we do have a composting toilet. So I've shown you guys before, but this is like extra for people if they need to refill. Refill it and then I'll show you guys the toilet. All right, now we're inside. We have all of our pots and pans in here. We have a two burner right here so people can cook their food. We have a big farmhouse sink. I definitely wanted a huge sink for people. And you can have more counter space by putting these two things on here. I cook on this so that I can get prepare my, my dinners right here instead of you know wishing that I had more counter space. We have our spice rags, we have our cups. Everything up here is magnet or it goes into a pot so that way you have free counter space. We have a very tiny microwave, but at least it's a microwave. Our AC is a regular put in AC during winter. You could just close the window and get rid of this. But then we have a really cute fireplace right here. Once you open it, this turns on the heat, this turns off the light so that you can have both without you know, sacrificing, you know, the looks. We have a mini fridge. Not much can fit into it, but it's good enough. You're going to be grilling outside anyway. We have a TV that streams, Netflix, Hulu, all of that. And then a pull-out couch, and I'll show you guys the pull-out couch um, in a little later clip over this one. Um, but it's a really nice one. It's sturdy. Sturdy. Over here, this has your sheets in it. So it opens up and then that way you get everything out of the way. Then of course we have bunk beds. Let's pull this off. <laughs> we have the bunk beds and under the bunk bed, we have our space so that you could put all of your stuff. It has games in it right now, but this is where you're gonna put your suitcases. If you look over here, we have the start of the garden. I am not a gardener, but I tried. Hopefully it comes up to be something. I'm not going to take care of it. I just kind of want it to go crazy because it goes up the hill. And then you have that magnificent mountain view in front of you. So pretty. But if you don't want to feel like you are having people stare at you, I'm going to see if I can do this. My shoes are dirty. You can pull this down to give yourself some privacy. And it just goes back up. Let's make this a little bit more pretty. <laughs> Then you have the bathroom. I'm not going to turn the light on because you're going to hear the fan, but the shower is huge, huge. You can't even touch the ceiling. So anybody who's tall can do it. We have some shelves. We have a small sink. And then here is the composting toilet. You put your pine shellings in it. 
you put some essential oils on top and it doesn't smell like anything to be completely transparent you guys there's pee in this toilet right now diani behind the camera what does it smell like in here peppermint it's wonderful peppermint peppermint oil you can't smell anything so i'm telling you it may sound disgusting but it's better than toilets at home because when you poop in water you can smell it when you poop in wood you can't smell it and then you have the extra pine in here kind of like a poop scooper or a cat scooper you just scoop it in there to cover up your do and of course we have to have a table so that you guys can eat this actually opens up so you can sit down at the couch and eat or you can move this over here and eat in front of the window it's kind of heavy so i like to keep it right here but really really convenient so what do you guys think of the tiny home i'm going to show you guys some other shots at different times and stuff but this is just like present day jasmine after all the work is fixed i promise you guys an inside tour so it's on airbnb we are fully booked for may i'm kind of scared because anything could go wrong in a tiny house so i definitely give you guys an update on that but this is my home hope you guys like it <laughs>